Let's see how this goes then. Professor, what's the update at the control room? I'm in, and I think I found the Halo's weapon systems. Once I've deactivated them, then I'll place the comms beacon. Keep us updated. Jerome, Atriox will be sending everything to stop us. You need to hold the line and protect the Professor in the control room until she's finished her work. Won't let you down, sir. The clock's ticking, and we don't have time to drop a base and build it up. You're going to have to rely on turret defenses, so keep them up and running. Fresh troops will be sent in directly from the Spirit of Fire as soon as they're ready to deploy. And I've got all the ship's weapon systems primed and ready, so we'll help as much as we can from up here. Okay, everyone. Let's get to work. Good luck. Interesting. You won't have access to a firebase. Hold out long enough for Anders to complete her mission. And the mission's called Last Stand. Is this the final mission? Professor's done her work. Don't worry, sir. We've got her. And it looks like we've got company right now. Oh, this you go, Adam. has a defensive shield, but it won't last long. You just keep the wolves at bay. All right. What are we looking at? Defend the control room. The spirit of fire's weapons are at your disposal, Spartan. Get the ship in the fight. Turrets and restoration drones are online. Call in support when you need it. The Spirit of Fire is standing by to assist Jerome. Use everything you can. We have to keep the Professor safe. Wait, do I have unlimited supplies right now? Oh, all leader powers are unlocked and the cooldown has been reduced. Make them count. Oh, sweet. And I, I think I've got unlimited supplies. There's no counter or anything. Uh, one here. Am I missing any turret spots? Looks like there's four paths in. One, there's a massive influx of banished heading two, to your position team. Three, Lock four. And load. No one crosses that line. Okay, uh Look alive, Marines. Let's get, get you lot in, in there, Let's I guess. You, Marines. Turret constructed. You lot in there. Turret constructed. You lot. Turret constructed. In there. Infantry down. Turret constructed. Infantry down already. That's not good. Oh shit! It's one per. Get in and get comfy. It's one per thing. Uh. Just leave you there then, I guess. Let's do this. Okay, the ghost just casually trying to ram us. That's rude. Local units. They're trying to destroy the shield. I can't disarm this thing if I'm dead. Up to 11, sir. Oh wait, no. Under assault from enemy troops. Need support. Get in there. This nightingale is uh, getting royally fucked. God damn it. The enemy sent vehicles after me. That's not good. Okay, uh, I've still got people Local fucking units. sitting around on their ass. Uh, the banished have warlords on the field overseeing their troops. Eliminate you can go there. Disrupt the you can go command. in there. Roger, sir. Nothing like sowing a little chaos. You can go in there. Kill the brute warlords, right? Okay. We'll be sending in reinforcements directly from the ship just as soon as they're ready to deploy. You can go in there. We definitely want to be making as much use of these garrisons as possible, right? It sounds uh. like the banished are trying to punch through the shield. I need some help here. Oh, fuck. Oh, hello, new friends. How did you just one fucking dude got through? How? <laughs> Oh my god, what is this? Close air support. Activate to call in four Pelican gunships. They guard a set area. Excuse me? And everything is maxed out? Oh, that is, that is very nice to see. Okay, let's get you back to full health. How long is the cooldown? They said it was reduced. Okay, it's not that much fucking reduced. 
Oh, do I not even have a population cap? Can I keep dropping ODSTs in? Fire from ground troops. They ain't getting up from that. Point us at them, sir. Run away. Oh, you're going to get hurt. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, Cyclops on the move. Sound off, Marines. Actually, it would be better to have you up on the edges, right? Eyes on me, Marines. We're up, Leathernecks. Douglas 042 reporting. Lost some bodies. Send a few of you up there. I didn't realize I sent that fucking many. Feeling good, sir. Where's the action? We got a mission. More of you up here looking down. Uh. Find me some metal to crush. Put you up Consider here. Let me add those tin cans, boss. Another one of you up here. Got it, on my way. Uh, you up, up top with beautiful. these lads, I guess. Oh wait, I did just send one up there. Oh wait, there's four paths. I've got one there. Do I have one down? I have one down there. What's the fucking path that I don't? What? Do I have one on every path? I thought I only sent Leader three. Power ready. The enemy sent vehicles after us. Whatever, you can go there. You lot. Uh, holy shit! Can come in and fucking help with these guys. The are attacking the control room. It's a little distracting. We're under attack from enemy vehicles. Over. <laughs> Can I heal the control room itself? No, I can't. Cyclops under vehicle Local unit. Holy shit. Which is bad because things are getting fucked. Marines under hostile vehicle fire. God damn it, how did they They just casually made it through? Protect the professor. She needs time to disarm the halo. Man, you guys are being bad at your jobs. Okay, we just... We need some more people that are just, like, guarding the center, I guess. It must be someone's birthday. We got an easy target. Man, the control room shield is already down to, like, half. I, I feel like we're not going to be getting this. We've got reinforcements for you now, red team. We're moving out, squad. I feel like this might not actually happen. <laughs> Heads up, oh, hi. Well, that's nice. Uh, let's put you here. I've been targeted by the enemy. Over. Got it. We're under attack from enemy vehicles. Over. Stand to, troops. You guys, oh shit. Okay, we're gonna need you guys to fucking get on this. I'm under attack. Too many people are getting through, man. Receiving fire from ground troops. Okay, you know what? No, actually, you're doing you're doing a pretty swell job. You're gonna need a heal fairly soon. How's it going up here? Under fire Not from enemy good. Troops. Not no amazing. But also like not horrible, you know. Under assault from enemy ground forces. You guys got this? Under Man, that control room shield though is looking. Looking dicey. Are you, can you really not heal? It's weird because like everything with a health bar in the game, you can heal. That is the rule. You can heal your own base. You can heal everything that has a health bar. Apparently, except for this important thing. I'm probably halfway there. I need more time. Make it fast, Professor. We'll buy the time, sir. Hostile is down. Okay, you guys are doing okay. Uh, you should get your ass Copy in that. there. Moving to position. 
We have reinforcements. Oh, he Standing can't. It's too you, small, I guess. It's good to go. You get your ass in there. You Hostile get your ass. Sure thing on my way. No. Okay to take care of this vehicle, boss. Where do you need me, sir? I just want you overlooking the very edge, man. You can heal that up. In fact, we probably need a Marines tank under assault from enemy ground force. up there. Oh, Bring you back. You guys will break anything. Bring you Only back a little bit, actually. Got you going up there. We have tanks that are sat here. Uh, so, let's get a tank Receiving down there. From ground troops. Over. You know what? I should just be dropping in a fuckload of ODST all the time, right? Like, as much as I possibly can. Because there's no population cap. Why didn't I think of that? That's genius. And I've got the turrets and everything. I, I, need, to, I need to change the way I'm thinking. I need to be dropping in lots of shit all the time. Where are you going, man? Did I tell you to move? No. Cyclops, Marines, ready to serve. We got troops down. Over. Look alive, Marines. Under fire from enemy ground forces. Fuck your ground forces, mate. Fuck them. That's what I think about your ground forces. Okay, would you like... Would you like to go and heal you? Okay, what have we got down here? We need another set of troops in there, but we don't have any. Why are you not in there? And why are you not... Oh, right, they're the ODSTs I dropped in. Makes sense. Speaking of, are they almost back? They're getting there. Uh, we should definitely drop a heal over here. Well, apparently I can't. I can't get both of... Lost a few good men, sir. Just stand there. There we go. <laughs> That's what I was looking for. Uh, would you like to hop in there? Leader power ready. Let's get you fixed up, my bro. We're under attack from ground troops. Okay, you should be okay. Oh fuck. Uh, Sit back and let the drones do their work. Hot drop you in. Hopefully the turret can fucking. Nice. Good job. Good job. Restoration drone. Getting pelted by ground troops, over. You go in there. Lovely. Lovely. You are very nearly fucked. And unfortunately, you are so far away. Oh, they can just see them. God damn it. Leader power ready. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. I see how it is. Uh, I'm going to need... You bad man. Get rid of you. Those things are fucking deadly, man. Those things are scary deadly. Holy shit. Can you guys, like, not see that? Oh my god, my turrets are going down. They can. They were just too near the fucking... They weren't near the edge enough. God damn it. Leader power ready. Shit me. Can't drop that in. Red team, reinforcements are ready for you at the LZ. Some of these kids. Can I just tell him to like attack? To Is are you gonna beat him? I'm under attack from ground troops. Over. Enemy spotted. Yeah, you better run. Oh, fuck. Stay on target, Professor. This is what we're here for. Oh, Christ. What's the status of that new gunship? We need it now. The Condor's on the way, Captain. Nothing like live combat to test a new design. Oh, yeah. My crew is ready for Hello. Action, sir. The Condor is the UNSC Bring super unit. Slow moving, but heavily armored yeah. with powerful yeah. ballista yeah. mini Mac. You're talking my fucking language, boy. Make it hurt, guys. Okay, it looks like it's coming this way. Uh... 
I can't actually see it right now, but let's move it. Let's move this big man into position over there then. Uh, you. Let's pull you back somewhat. Question is, should we move all troops to target leader power ready? The scarab. Oh fuck! Here it comes. Local units. Wait, why is it? It's got like some impenetrable shield. I think we got it. We got it with just what we've got here. I think this thing is doing most of the work. Scarab is down. Nice. Professor, how we okay. Doing? Why are our dudes driving out towards it? Good work, Professor. What about the communications beacon? Well, that's a little more complicated. I'm going to have to go down into the ring to set it up. I need more time. Counting on you, Professor. Okay. Jerome, hold the control you two fucking get back so there. The what are you doing, lads? Done. I'm not leaving anybody behind. You guys are right over Come there. Down, I should sir. be hot dropping ODSTs in. Team. Let's drop ODSTs in here and fill the thingies with them. them you in done. there. Hand you in there. You on, somewhere team. back here. Enemy spotted. Okay, how's things over here? This is actually looking Too pretty good. Uh, up here is looking eh, not amazing. Oh my god, any dudes? I have a lot of dudes that I'm not really making use of, actually. So let's put you over here. Oh, that's a Kodiak. I should put the Kodiak uh, up there. Along with a couple of Wolverine. Oh, it's speaking of Wolverines, hello. Look who's fucking come to join the party. Cyclops under fire. Leader power ready. All systems checked and calibrated. Locate target. Lock yourself down, lad. The Hopefully it has sight over here. After me. Uh. Easy next time. These things are out of range. You go up there. The enemy has sent air units to take me Let's out. Let's get this over with. Hostiles. You go over I've there. I've been targeted by Only enemy air order. units. Over. Gonna need you up here. Gonna need they you. Never learn, do they? Over. Scorpion under here. Your power ready. Wait, no, I just sent one there. Wait, no, that was that one. No, wait, no, it wasn't. Just give me you the back down here. Okay, you guys got that pretty covered, it seems. Uh, you're Wolverine doing okay. Aerial assault. Sit back. We've got I another Wolverine up here. It looks like this is a bit of a sore spot. Let's get a heal going on these guys. Like Spartan so. Enemy air units. There's our fucking Condor. It's doing God's now, work. Uh, you need to be further down here because you're not actually hitting anything back there. Uh, I'll take you two and put you. That's pretty good. Uh, up here is looking a little bit awkward. Actually, I've got all of these up here. Never mind. Uh, I've got a hostile air unit that won't leave me alone. You know what? Let's drag you back down here. Got some shit coming in this way, but it's done for. Don't know what you're doing up there, but. There's surely a garrison somewhere that is just Under calling your name. Uh, and there it is. Take it, squad. Okay, pull you back. Uh, we don't have a heal yet. Got to remember. Uh, you're pretty good. You could do with uh, a hot drop, potentially. Or maybe not. Maybe up here could do with a hot drop. Got all the birds in the world over there. Where needs a hot drop? What do we think, people? Uh, let's just throw it there for now. Did I just throw it through my condor? That was a dumb decision. That was a 
dumb decision. Oh man, this is getting this is getting fucking intense right now. Sir, we won't be able to hold them off indefinitely. Yeah. Professor, time's running out. Communications array is ready, Captain. You said it yourself. Can't leave until the banished are gone. I found something down here that'll help. Yeah. Whatever it is, it better work, Professor. You guys got that. That's very good to see. Uh, not sure what you're doing there, but you should be right there. And then lock you down. Oh my god, I've got a few vultures going on. That's good. Holy shit, I just get more and more stuff coming in without even realizing it. <laughs> got a vulture over there. That is great. Got a nightingale up here. Uh, and another nightingale down here. Hostile has been neutralized. Phoenix missile launched. Leader power ready. Boom. Oh, that is one powerful fucking Y ability. You love to see it. Oh shit. Alice under artillery assault over. Vulture engaging. Go go gadget vulture. Can anyone do something about that artillery? Get rid of you. Very nice. He's back. Very nice. Pull back a bit. You think you can stand against me? I will defy the covenant itself. Yeah, actually. As you notice, Atriox, the Ark is our home now, and it's under our protection. You could make him any matter, but we got troops hostiles. Yeah. Uh, we got any more things we need to be positioning? No. The ropes, Captain, but it's only a matter of time before they send more. What are these? Professor, what's the plan? I gain control of the Halo's gravity anchors, Captain. Get our troops clear and get ready. Enemy vehicles over. Uh, oh, fuck a moly, okie doke. No, it put up its invincible shield right as I did my fucking thing. You hate to see it. Come on, delete that, delete that. Oh my god, there's another one? Oh shit. Oh my god, okay, this thing needs to go down fucking instantly. Oh my god. Oh my god, close air support. Right fucking here. Right fucking here, we need close air support. Please, just delete that. I have no idea if that's doable. Oh my god, there's a third scarab! What the fucking fuck is occurring? ODSTs, fucking... Uh, I don't know what holographic decoy does, but hey, look at the pretty people that are right over there. Oh, it just clones that. Oh, I'm a moron, is what I am. Okay, you've got that, like, completely fucking pegged, right? You, yeah, you're good. You're good. I think you're good. Holy shit, three scarabs at once. That is, that is next level, man. Nice. Okay, now we just need... Oh wait, hold out for 30 more seconds. There's only 30 seconds left. I didn't even realize. Uh, do we have... We don't have this shit yet, but we do have this I shit. Have Holy mother of God, man. Oh, our troops are clear, Professor. Whatever you're gonna do, I, do it. We're not gonna get this down, but we've only got five seconds left. Have we done it? Leader power ready. Are we good? Holy shit, that was intense. Three fucking scarabs. Wow, that's cool. Oh, 
<laughs> oh yeah. My dude. Professor, it's now or never. Show us what you got. Show me what you got. I like what you got. What is she doing? What the fuck is occurring? Oh my god! Hope this works. <laughs> Yeet! Oh my god, that is sick! You can just do that from the control room? Can we find where Atriox is and just fucking yeet him into space? Captain! With all due respect, Spartan. I don't believe that's an option any longer. Oh, fuck. Professor Anders, there must be some way Don't to worry, Captain. As soon as I'm back to the Sol system, I'll get that beacon out. It should only be a few weeks. Professor! Until I can figure out how to get back to you. Holy shit. Captain? The other teams are clear? Yes, sir. ETA to the Spirit of Fire is five minutes. Bring up the map. We have a lot of work to do until she gets back. I kept it. boy <laughs> my dude has a lot of forces left you fucking with silver honor and courage a well-earned victory Gonna be honest, I feel like I deserved gold there. I feel like I did pretty sick. I defended, I mean, I guess it's because the thing did take, la like, the thing we were protecting in the middle did take about 50% damage right at the start before we got everything set up at the entrances, but, uh, once we got set up, I feel like I was pretty fucking good. How is par time 23 minutes and my time is 23.22? There is no way to speed that mission up, is there? You literally can't do anything faster. You're just waiting for the waves to come and then the timer to tick down. So how the fuck is part-time shorter than what I managed when... Unless I'm very much mistaken, you can't speed that up? Okay. Are we going into credits now, or was that the last mission? Or was that not the last mission, rather? Oh no, we are going straight into credits. Okay, interesting. That's a... Hmm. It was a cool as fuck last mission. That last mission might actually be my favorite mission in both games. That last one. That was very, very fun. I love the fact that, like, it was just so intense. There was no there was no going through the same build up your base the same way that you've built it up every other time to pump out the same troops that you pump out every other time. Like, it was just, here you go. Here's fucking lots of stuff. You've got... Unlimited supplies, unlimited energy, everything's maxed out, go fucking nuts and protect these different areas. That was really intense and really fun. I really enjoyed that last mission. As for how it ended, I, obviously there's DLC and we will be doing the DLC next, so I assume the story will continue on there. But, for the people who just bought the main game, I feel like that didn't wrap up much. Like, we got Anders to the Halo, she's fucking gone through the ring and she's going to the place where, um, was it the, they said it was the one that Master Chief found after he left Reach, so the original Halo CE, 
that's where that ring is being sent. And then she'll be able to use a reach uh, comms relay to be like, sup, uh, can I get a little help over here? And so that's like sort of, it's, fa it's fairly open because we just have to assume if you don't get the DLC again, because we'll see where that goes. But like, yeah, we just assume people will be like, oh, hey, the Ark, we should go back there and go and help out the Spirit of Fire people. But then like... The main antagonist, Atriox, still absolutely fine. Uh, the Banished, as a whole, still absolutely fine. Fuck loads of them left, it's just that they weren't on the ring, because he we cut off we cut off the banished access to the ring in the penultimate mission, or no. Third was it third to last mission? Yeah, I think so. So they were throwing everything they had at the control room and lost, and then <laughs> Anders yeeted everyone up into space, I guess. Actually, Atriox wasn't on the ring himself, was he? So that's why she couldn't yeet Atriox into space. He was still on the Ark. I wonder if you can do that with the Ark's control room, though. But, uh... Yeah, like... Halo Wars 1, it was a very conclusive ending. It was the big final fight. We blew up the entire fucking planet. Every every Covenant left on it died. And we went back into cryosleep. And that was, like, a pretty, a pretty clear-cut end of the game. Whereas this, it feels like was left very, very open. It was like one story thread was closed, but everything else was still open. So I'm not sure how I feel about that, but hopefully the uh, DLC will expand on that and we'll see where what happens to the Spirit of Fire crew and everything next. Um, so yeah, there's, there's a smaller DLC called Operation something or other. Uh, and then there's a bigger one called Awakening the Nightmare, which I believe you guys have said is flood related, which is very interesting because there's not been any flood in this game. Obviously, the flood were a pretty pretty large part of Halo Wars One, um, and yeah, they just haven't. It's it's just been the banished and a little bit of the Sentinels, but like 99% the banished in this one. Uh, can we skip this? Oh, hello. I don't know. Why did you drop out of slip space? Implying that we dropped out of slip space before she intended to? So we're not at the place that can relay to reach? How fucking scary must it be being on a halo all on your own and you don't even know where you are? What? What now? Oh man. Okay. Interesting. It still doesn't wrap anything up, but that. Oh. Oh, that's spicy. A fucking guardian shows up. So. Yeah, so this is after Halo 5 then, obviously. What does that mean? Oh no! <laughs> no, I need to find out what happens. I'm gonna guess that's not going to be answered until Halo Infinite. Which, whilst we were playing Halo Wars 2, they announced that Halo Infinite is fucking delayed. Which, I mean, it's good because I'd rather have a better game than a worse game. So, I'm glad that it has been delayed if they don't think it was up to snuff to be released this November, but now I'm experiencing the pain that you guys have felt for the past five years because uh, it's no longer, I no longer find out what happens next in three months. It is an undetermined amount of time, potentially an entire fucking year. I would not be surprised if Infinite is delayed until next Christmas, Christmas 2021, because they need, well, they don't need, but you know, companies like to have a big Christmas title, and if they've already missed the Series X launch, then it's not like they're going to be rushing it. There's no way the new Fable is ready for next Christmas, and there's no way Avowed, the big new Obsidian RPG, is ready for next Christmas. So they might just delay it an entire fucking year and blame it on COVID, which maybe... Co I mean, I'm sure COVID had something to do with it, but I doubt that's the full reason. Like, they wouldn't have showed it off in that big way and made such a big deal of it. 
uh, at that event where they showed off the footage and confirmed that it was coming at launch and everything just to then delay it two weeks later if they already knew at the time that they were going to be delaying it. So when they showed it off a few weeks ago, they, at that point, were still thinking they were going to be launching it this year, despite the COVID issues. So, you know, I'm sure COVID had a little bit to do with slowing things down, but that is not the reason they delayed it. I think the reason they delayed it is because of the big backlash that people had to the graphics and stuff. And uh, yeah, so that's unfortunate. So what does that mean? So Cortana's sent a Guardian. So yeah, this confirms that Infinite is definitely going to be carrying on the creative storyline. Because there's been a lot of like, uh, uh, people not sure whether we're just going to be pivoting to focus on the Banished in Infinite and they're just gonna, you know, sweep Cortana and the created under the rug. But that confirms they're not because this came out, what, like two or three years after Halo 5? So they knew at that point that they were still carrying on that story. Uh, even as they introduced the Banish, which they also must have known would be the like the big main enemy force as a whole in Infinite, they were also like, we're very deliberately tying this to Halo 5 by having her come face to face with the Guardian in the end. So, yeah, although we although the demo just showed us fighting Banished and we've not really got any clue where the created storyline is going to go, it is absolutely 100% being continued in Infinite because otherwise they wouldn't have put that in there as like the secret post credits cutscene if that wasn't the case, which I'm very glad about because I kept hearing the word reboot be thrown around and I was like, don't you dare like just fucking <laughs> drop that storyline just because some people didn't like it. Like f finish it up, <laughs> even even if you finish it up more quickly than you were planning, fucking finish it up. Don't Don't just leave me hanging. So that's good. I'm glad that's happening. Man, that was really good. Oh yeah, look, bottom right, Awakening the Nightmare. That is definitely Flood. Um, cool. So, uh, if we go into campaign here, what is... Well, that's Awakening the Nightmare. I guess they're not really promoting this other thing at all. But there is definitely something else before that. Uh, that's some cool art. I guess the Banished is still going to be part of it as well. Um... Yeah, so we'll do this other thing first that doesn't seem to be getting promoted. And then we'll be doing Awakening the Nightmare. And uh, yeah, it's going to be good times. Well, that's been the main campaign of Halo Wars 2. It was thoroughly enjoyable. I... Which did I enjoy? I think I enjoyed... I, I did enjoy Halo Wars 2 more than one overall. But with the caveat that I didn't like how it took a long time for stuff to be made available to you. In Halo Wars 1, it was like you had a lot of stuff available to you right off the bat. In Halo Wars 2, it felt like it took about half the game before we were able to start building lots of stuff. Like the opening few missions, you just, you could build like one marine type and a warthog and a uh, whatever fucking, like it, it was hardly any options for a good few missions. And it did take about half the campaign to feel like we were playing what we'd just played the full game of in Halo Wars 1, so it felt like a big step back in that regard in the early stages. So that was one thing I didn't like about Halo Wars 2. And the other thing that I didn't like is the severe lack of cutscenes. That was like, there was an opening cutscene and then there was one at the end of the first level. And then there was about five missions in a row that didn't have one. And then we had one around the table uh, discussing going to the ship. And then we had the awesome one, the fucking awesome one. So that's, uh, four, and then we didn't have another one until that last section there. So it's only, f I think it was 12 missions and only five total cutscenes, so that's less than half, whereas in Halo Wars 1, every mission had a cutscene. So even though they were super high quality, I feel like I preferred Halo 1's way of doing it, uh, which was, l like, don't blow the budget on every single cutscene, but do have one every mission. So I think I did prefer that. However, in terms of how the game looked, in terms of the development that characters got, like Red Team was definitely more of a actual, they had personalities and character to them. And the gameplay itself did feel more fun, especially once you got to the later stages where you had everything available to you. And then that last mission especially, like, that was fucking amazing. Really, 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 really liked that last mission. Good shit. Okay, I've rambled on for long enough. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, 
share the videos around, share the playlist around if you can, I would really appreciate that. And if you really like what I do, there is a Patreon link in the description. Anything you could afford to send my way would be hugely helpful, help keep the channel going and help keep me being able to bring these videos to you. Thank you anyone who is able to do that. And uh, yeah, I will see you next time for the first of the story DLC packs. Thanks for watching. See you then.